it's Matthew from the California Conventions blog, and this is Mary Elizabeth Le Guin and Hello. Richard Epcar. The they are the, Mary the, the beautiful, the stunning, huh. stunning Richard Epcar. Yeah, and this is on day two, Sunday, maybe about 11 o'clock ish. Um, so my first question is, we just had a panel. The um, it was supposed to be a voice acting 101 panel, but it didn't come out exactly the way it was. That was advertised, but in the end, we all sat down and in a semicircle, and we had story time. You need to you need the mics. You sat on chairs. What did you? How did the, how did that feel different towards maybe maybe how you did yesterday's panel, which was the the Q and A and up in the in the second floor? Well, it was just set up in a different room, and we we adapted to the room. There wasn't uh, a table or anything, so we, it, I kind of liked it because it was much more informal, and we could just it was more of a conversation back and forth to us just although we did just do a lot of talking but it was <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot more intimate like it was I felt like it was more of a discussion yeah, yeah. that was good it was good I liked it and mm. when you say it wasn't the panel it was supposed to be was well, it, well not because because there was supposed to be like, like this with like tables and microphones and the setup that doesn't look like you guys are gonna do a concert or or a dance we were planning on doing interpret dance but uh, I pulled my back last night uh, in the maid cafe so we couldn't do it which was sad yeah, yeah we had actually uh, uh, choreographed a, a lovely ballet that we were going to do for the anime fans uh, Motoko and Bata yes <laughs> the interpretive views we we're going to reenact the, uh, the death of Ziggy so it didn't, yes. didn't quite happen I know. next year next year but I also think it's a first year convention and, and sometimes uh, communication get, yeah. get crossed and so uh, we were just in a completely different space so I, I actually liked that even more than uh, than the other one because it doesn't feel like we're in front and it just felt like a more communal thing which I like. Now speaking of this con this is the first time and of course all three of us are enjoying it but what is, what's the favorite aspect that you're seeing from this convention? For me it's the people I just I love coming to these conventions just to talk to people about the shows that we do and the characters that they that we've you know been doing for so many years and that they really enjoy and uh, it's all about the fans. We wouldn't be doing what we're doing if it wasn't for the people watching. So uh, for me, it's coming and interacting with people and getting feedback on what we do and how we do it, and, and also to see the costumes and to see you know the lack of sleep and uh, huh. it's great to see people in costume out by the pool in the afternoon. It's about the people for me. Yeah, and for me too. It's mm -hmm. it's great to come to a, a convention and have, you know, we, as I was saying earlier, we, we do a lot of our work in these dark booths, day in, day out. We don't really see anybody. It's not like when you do a play, when you get the immediate response of an audience. So when you come to a convention and you have these these fans here that just absolutely you know love your work and appreciate what it is you do and uh, get into these characters and and just love the stories and it just it really makes it nice for us to to, to have that uh, you know that kind of reception and it, and it makes it really fun for us to come in, to the conventions and meet the people that you know that really their lives are affected by these by these these games or stories or anime uh, you know uh, shows so it's it's pretty cool mm. so my final question is both of you are, are not only voice actors but you've directed very famous anime including Cowboy Bebop and Wolf Spring. Um, my question is, there, there has to be some challenges. What is the greatest challenge to not only voice acting, but also directing? Because those are two different things. And how do you flip-flop between both of them? I think one enhances the other. I think the more directing I do, the better an actor I become and vice versa. Uh, it's always good to be on both sides of the class, as we call it, just so it gives you an appreciation for what the actors have to go through and what the directors have to go through. I think it helps me with communicating with the actors, more work. I do as an actor is the more I realize, alright, this is, if, if the director had been clearer with me about this aspect of the character, I might have given a slightly different, more nuanced performance, so, um, um I think that, uh, in, in general, the, the actor basically kind of is in control of, uh, his, his character or his segment of it, you know, to a certain extent. But the thing I do enjoy about the director is the director is basically the one who puts all the pieces of the puzzle together and has basically, it's his kind of vision of the show. Uh, it's, it's kind of nice to be able to have that control, so it's kind of nice to direct uh, from, the, 
that standpoint. And, uh, and uh, I am a bit of a control freak, let's face it, so I do kind of enjoy that. But, uh, <laughs> So, and it's kind of nice, and when you're an actor, you're kind of at the whim of the director, so uh, that's basically the difference, but uh, I mean, they're both, I believe they both come from the same creative place, and I think that they're both, they're both intertwined, as Mary was saying, and I think the more you do one, the better you get at the other, and, and it's very important as a director to communicate your wishes to the actor, and, and let them know what it is you, you want, and it's also nice to be able to be aware of what goes on on the other side of the mic, besides, you know, being actors ourselves, we, we we know what the actors going through. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I, I, I uh, <laughs> uh, both of you. Now to finish up this video, let's go back to the Sean Connery impression. Let's no, go, no. <laughs> we're not telling the story. You're not telling. All right. All right. All right. Well, anyways, thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks Absolutely. a lot. For refuse to do Sean Connery That's Paul. right. <laughs> We're not going to talk about Petula Clark no. in 1962. In the bomb. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, for the, uh, thank you for your time and I hope you guys come back next year. I do too. I hope you do too. Congratulations right. to Kentucky Con. A great first year. Yeah, Congratulations. You guys, You're amazing. You guys did an awesome job for your first year. You really yeah. did. Way to go, very, Eric. Very impressive. Woohoo! Good job.